So problem one. Okay, so that's our function that we've got to find the analytical solution to. But when I say find the analytical solution, I'm just looking for the definition of that function. I don't need you to find the Fourier series for it, okay? So f of t, basically we have to break it down into two parts, okay? What's happening between t equals 0 and t equals 3? What's the equation of that? f of t equals something between t equals 0 and 3. What's that line? What's the slope of the line? It drops 2 while it goes along 2. Come on guys. GCSE math. Slopes of lines. Rise over run. Minus 1, minus 1. So we have minus t, <laughs> mx plus c or mx plus b. What's the y-intercept? 2, yeah? So between 0 and 3, my line is minus t upon 2. Is it minus, t, minus t plus 2. What about between 3 and 5? What's f of t? <laughs> What's the period? That completely defines that function. Okay, so when I say what's the definition of this function or what, how, what's the analytical solution to that function, I want to see two equations. f of c equals something over a certain period or certain time points and then the period of that function. That's question one. Question two we did. Question three. Oops. 
Comme ça. Okay, so we've got a, a function here where we've got a flat bit raises up to be equal to 4, and then a flat bit again. And then my period, in this case, is 2 pi. Which is why I've erased this, because that doesn't make sense. It should be flat again, then up, and then flat again. So that was one period from here, up, across, down, and back to here. That's one period. So we, and the question says, what's the Fourier series? So let's define the function function analytically. Okay, so the period is 2 pi, we can see that. Because this is one period of the function. We go from minus pi to pi, so the period must be 2 pi. And between minus pi upon 2 and pi upon 2, it equals 4. And all other times it equals 0. Is this an odd or an even function? Even. So that means there are... That means there are... Cosine terms only. B of n equals zero. Okay, so we've got a, our period is 2 pi, so the Fourier series function looks like this, okay? That's, that's the special case for when t is 2 pi. It's even, so bn is 0, so we can forget about these terms, we've just got to solve for a of n and a of 0. Okay, so... So there's our equation for when t is 2 pi, okay? We can solve for a naught, because that's 1 over pi between the integral of our function dt. We forget about the cosines and sines, okay? Obviously the integral of 4 is 4t, and because it's an even function, I've multiplied the integral by 2 to get 2 over pi between 0 and pi upon 2, okay? So notice that that has changed into a 0. Obviously, the integral of uh, stick in pi upon 2, and now I got 4 pi upon 2 times by 2 divided by pi. 
Obviously that cancels with that and that cancels with that, so you end up with 4. And A0 divided by 2 is 2. Now, looking at inspe by inspection, we could have automatically seen that the average value was 2. Because over equal intervals in T, we've got f of t is 0 and f of t is 4. Okay? So obviously, um, that means that the average value must therefore be halfway between the two. So we get an average value of 2. So you could have looked at that by inspection, but here we solved it using the formula. A of n one over pi So we can What's sign of zero? Oops. So yeah, I've just gone through the, the motions. It's an even function, so we can multiply the integral by two and then solve between zero and pi upon two. Four n t, well four is the constant, we can take that out, so you end up with eight upon pi times by the integral. Integrating cosine is easy. Sine of nt upon n between 0 and pi upon 2. So we end up with 8 over pi of a sine of nt upon n, sorry, n pi upon 2 times by no, divided by n minus sine of 0. Well, sine of 0 we know is 0. Right, if n equals 1, what's sine of pi by 2? n equals 1, so we have a sine of pi by 2. a of n equals 8 divided by pi, yeah, sine of pi by 2. What's sine of pi by 2? 1. N equals 2. Sine of, zero, sine of pi? 0. Sine of 3 pi by 2. Sine of 270 degrees. Minus 
minus 1. Okay, so you can see what's going on. Sorry, this is 8 over pi. So we can say that A of n equals 0 when n is even. 2, 4, 6, and so on. It equals 8 divided by pi when n is 1, 5, 9, and so on. And minus 8 upon pi when n is 3, 7, 11, and so on. Okay. <coughs> this is minus 8 upon pi. This one here. 8 upon, th sorry. Minus 8 upon 3 pi. To make that clearer. Okay? So when n is even, a of n equals 0. When n is every other odd number, so 1, 5, 9, and so on, we have 8 over n pi. And when n is the other odd numbers, 3, 7, 11, and so on, we have minus 8 upon n pi. So, if we've got values for a of n, which is this, we plug that into this equation. A, a, an a naught upon 2 we found to be 2, and then we've got the sum of a naught a n cosine of n t. Well, the 8 over pi is a common theme, so we can take that out. We have cosine of 1 t minus 1 third cosine of 3 t plus 1 fifth cosine of 5 t minus 1 seventh cosine of 7 t, and so on. And there's your solution. <coughs>